everyone welcome to our channel in this video we are going to see how we run quick discovery so once you have validated your mid server it is always a good idea to go to the dashboard of the mid server and see the status of your mid server any other pending jobs any processing jobs that mid server is doing will be seen from the dashboard here average cpu usage average maximum memory usage etc etc so now since we have set up and validated our mid server uh, just to confirm one more thing that i have talked about that we can validate mid server from our action tab we can also validate mid server by going opening the form and click on validate here it is showing invalidated because we have already validated our mid server i just wanted to let you know there are two ways to validate your mid server now it is always a good idea after validating your mid server to run a quick discovery and see how it is working so let's go to discovery schedule we have talked about different ways in which we can schedule discovery quick discovery you can refer back to that video so here i'm not talking about that for quick discovery remember i said that we need target ip and the mid server for which we are working so in this example we will let mid server discover itself and see so how we can do that mm. mid server we have the ip address here you can copy this ip address so it is showing 198.51.224.36 so okay so now we will use this ip address to run a quick discovery let's do that so it was 198 51 mm, 36 i think 36 select your mid server and run So we are here in the discovery status table. Let's open the form and see. So this is the ECC queue. So we have talked about discovery status. Here we will see the different probes that are sent So the ECC queue. We can keep refreshing to see the progress of the process. In the discovery log you can see the any errors if it is uh, showing any error in the devices tab you can see if the device is classified the class in which it is classified if there are any issues here we can see it is being classified as windows in the class windows server Here we will also see if this particular device is updated or created. So that will also be updated here when the process will complete. So if you go to ECC queue, you can see the 
the different probes and patterns that are sent like sysam probes were sent during the scanning phase and then classification is done and now probes uh, and horizontal discovery probe is sent so this happens during the identification and reconciliation phase to collect more data which will help to finally uh, update or create a new ci in the cmdb so we will keep refreshing until we see that the status is showing completed the state is completed here and let's go to devices so you can see this particular ci has been updated in the discovery log just look at this discovery pro that has been sent during the exploration phase this is the pattern probe which is sent during the identification and exploration phase we will talk talk about it more when we will dig into the particular cmdb ci just in a moment now click here under the cmdb ci to see which record is updated you get all the information here serial number model number and scroll down you can see there are other informations also connected and these informations the extra informations that you see here are collected by the pattern probes that were sent during the identification and reconciliation phase so if you have not seen that video where i have talked about uh, how identification and reconciliation engine works why it is important you will uh, you can just refer back to that video and see that during this phase pattern probes are sent and other informations are collected on the basis of that it is decided by the system whether the ci needs to be created if it is not existing in the cmdb or it needs to be updated so um, this is all about this video we have just run a quick discovery congratulations to you all you have just seen how to run the quick discovery and um, we will keep learning and growing together like this if you like this video please subscribe to our channel hit the like button and Thank you. We'll see you in the next video.